Welcome back to this series of Light Reading Fast Chats about Mobile World Congress. Terry Sweeney here with Light Reading, and joining me now is Gabriel Foglander, a Strategic Project Manager with Ericsson. Gabriel, thanks for joining us for this Fast Chat today. Thanks, Terry. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Uh, of course, you were in attendance at the Mobile World Congress, the recent event in Barcelona. Uh, always a great place to take the pulse of the industry and check in with customers. Talk a bit about what you took away from uh, your conversations and meetings there. Yeah, there were a couple of things, Terry. I mean, first of all, I mean, the, the, the great energy that you get from meeting people face to face after such long uh, absence of that. And then if you think more about the content side, I, I think it was uh, quite interesting to hear uh, a lot of focus on, on things like the metaverse, uh, monetization of 5G, sustainability was a huge topic, I think, and a recurring theme from customers that visited our booth in part to see uh, some of the new announcements that we made with a super energy efficient uh, radio portfolio. And if I speak more about the cloud round portfolio where I uh, hosted most of the customers, I think it, it was quite pleasing to see that the, the emphasis that we put on high performing network, i.e. that also means efficient and thereby sustainable, uh, was coming through with customers clearly. Uh, I think we talked a lot about also how do we utilize the technology and, and take advantage of the, of the flexibility that we see uh, when you can have pl flexible placement of workloads in, in different locations in your network. And, and how do you package that into a viable use case? And the third aspect, of course, was uh, the RON automation piece where we showcased a couple of R apps specific to Cloud RON designed to take down the TCO and, and improve the operational aspects of the network. So those three components really resonated well with customers, I'm happy to say. And, and I think it was uh, very, very encouraging to hear the feedback from customers. Gabriel, what did you learn about where customers are with their own thinking around cloud adoption in first quarter of 2022? Yeah, I, I think we saw uh, quite a lot of focus, uh, like immediate focus on, on the power efficiency uh, situation around the openness and the cloud run solution. And this is, of course, something that we are addressing together with our friends uh, and, and partners in the ecosystem with Intel, looking into different solutions, how we can more effectively use uh, the CPU equipment for the compute that we do with them and the acceleration technology that we embed in the solution. Uh, but it's also about, of course, the fact that we can capitalize on, on the radio portfolio that we have with embedded ASICs, which, of course, uh, reduce the overall uh, processing requirements in the DU functionality and also make more efficient use uh, of the radio itself. So I think that was one trend. And the other aspect that we have to get back to is also the monetization angle. So uh, customers clearly were thinking, OK, if I'm introducing this into my network, what is the compelling reason for me to, to, to go this way? And what are the use, use cases I can serve with this type of solution uh, in contrast to what I've done uh, with, with previous technology? Uh, so I think this is a kind of balancing situation that, that are, is top of mind for customers. So will this enable me really to address new revenues or is it something that uh, is, is more in line with, with what I've done before? Sounds like a series of uh, rich and productive meetings, and not to mention, as you said, the first in-person meeting in a couple of years. Gabriel, thanks for doing this fast chat today. Absolutely, thank you very much. We've been talking with Gabriel Foglander of Ericsson. This has been Terry Sweeney for Light Reading. Thanks for joining us for this fast chat about Mobile World Congress. We'll see you next time.